In this video, I'm going to perform a templated Sanger sequence assembly. Within the DNA Star Navigator, I'm going to launch Seekman Ultra. I'm going to click New Assembly in the left hand menu, then select Sanger ABI Reference Guided under Molecular Biology. In the Reference Sequence page, I'm going to add my GenBank file as a reference sequence. Note that you can import your own reference sequence as I have done, or download a reference directly from NCBI. You can also use one of our curated genome template packages. Next, on the Input Sequences screen, I'm going to leave the read technology as Sanger. Sigma Engine allows you to perform analysis on one or more samples. For this example, I will select multi-sample with no replicates in the Experiment Setup menu. Next, click Add and select your data files for the sequence data. In the Group Selection tool, I'm going to select a portion of the file name that identifies the sample. I will choose C-GIG-2 to identify my samples. Note that I have forward and reverse reads for each of my three samples. Then, click Next. We will leave the Setup Experiment screen at its default, as well as the Assembly options. Click Next to skip through these two steps. In the Analysis Options screen, adjust SNP settings as needed, then click Next. In the Assembly Output screen, name your project and select a folder to save it to. Then click Next. Here, you want to select Run Assembly on this computer. Once the assembly is complete, click Next. On this screen, click Open Assemblies to launch Seekman Ultra. Under the Explorer tab on the right, you will see a single contig named after the GenBank file used as the reference. Double click on the contig name to open the alignment view. Since I don't have sequencing coverage along the entire reference, I'm going to use the Search Alignment tool. Select Coverage under the Find menu, then click the right green arrow to move to the region with coverage. The green slider at the top also allows you to zoom in and out. When I expand the reference sequence at the top by clicking the plus sign next to it, I can see features from the GenBank file and also see I have sequencing coverage in the intron region of the SOS1B gene. Note that we see one pseudo-consensus sequence for each sample in orange. The forward and reverse reads for each sample are shown below this sequence. For an in-depth view, select a region in the alignment and then use the Restore Default Zoom tool. By right-clicking on any sample name on the left, you can expand trace data for one or all samples. The blue text indicates variants from the reference sequence. To see a report of all variants in the assembly, select Variants, Show Variant Table. This table is sorted by position and is interactive, so when you click on a variant in the table, the alignment view will jump to the variant selected. Note that the filtering options are also available for the variant table by selecting the Filter All Variant Tables tool. For this example, I'm going to leave the filters at their defaults. You can validate SNPs by looking at trace data and quality scores. To show quality scores, select the Quality Scores tool on the Alignment toolbar, then click Show Scores. To expand or contract peaks, simply drag this bar up and down. 